Hey guys, I'm Oliver with Motionary, and today you're going to learn how to use adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro. That includes how to create one, what they're for, and how to use them to get the best out of your video projects. Adjustment layers can be used for so many different applications, and are most commonly used to apply any color grade or effect to any clip on all clips below. It's important to remember that adjustment layers make changes to whatever is beneath them and not to anything above them. Unfortunately, Final Cut Pro doesn't have adjustment layers natively installed, but because the concept is so helpful, Final Cut Pro enthusiasts have devised workarounds to create an equivalent, and we'll get on to how you can create your own shortly. So here's a clip on our timeline, and if we place an adjustment layer on top, notice there isn't any change. That's because we haven't yet applied any changes to our adjustment layer for it to impact the clips below. While this is just an example, let's take this desaturated looking clip and use the adjustment layer to bring up the saturation. Now we can see how it adjusts the clips below by enabling and disabling our adjustment layer. A common use for an adjustment layer, as we mentioned, is to add a color grade that matches a number of sequential shots. So you can simply extend the adjustment layer as opposed to having to make the same color adjustments on each clip. So let's get started with how to create an adjustment layer. If you have Motion, Apple's version of Adobe After Effects, you can create one yourself by creating an empty title project, removing the title asset, and saving it. We suggest naming it Adjustment Layer in a folder named Adjustment Layer. And then once you've restarted Final Cut Pro, you can search for it in the Titles folder. Once you have an Adjustment Layer title in Final Cut Pro, Drag it on top of your clips using Final Cut Pro's drag and drop feature. But if you don't have your own adjustment layer, or don't have motion to create your own, we've left a download link for you in the description. Once you've downloaded that to your downloads folder, decompress the file, right click and copy, and paste in your movies, motion templates, titles folder. From here, you can increase or decrease the length of your adjustment layer by hovering over the start or end and dragging to the right or to the left. So let's zoom out of our timeline and stretch the adjustment layer across both clips. From here, we can add a quick color grade to all clips on the timeline while only making the changes once. And again, you can see the difference the adjustment layer has applied by enabling and disabling your clip. And there you have it. All clips now have the same quick color grade in just one simple click. What's awesome about adjustment layers is that you can also add effects to them. Let's try adding the bad TV effect from the effects browser, which adds static, scan lines, and a number of other effects to your clip. What's awesome about adjustment layers is that you can also keyframe effects to create even cooler effects. So let's close the effects browser, remove the bad TV effect, and open up the color wheels so we can keyframe a color to black and white effect. Ensuring our clip is selected, let's add a keyframe point in the color inspector, and move the playhead to the end of the clip. Then go back up to the color inspector and drop the saturation all the way down. If we play this back, you'll see how we've used the adjustment layer to create a desaturating effect. Right before we finish, here's a pro tip. While you can apply multiple effects and color grades to a single adjustment layer, you can also use multiple adjustment layers. For example, you can see our top clip adjust the bad TV effect, while our bottom clip adjusts the saturation. And there you have it. You've just learned how to use adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro, how to create your own, and what they're for all inside Final Cut Pro. So guys, that's it for me. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use adjustment layers in Final Cut Pro helpful. And feel free to check out all of our awesome Final Cut Pro templates, transitions, effects, stock footage, and more we have to offer at Motionary. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.